Claire is a really fun kid, but she couldn't communicate to us kind of what she wanted to do. It was almost like we needed to be telepathic and make decisions for her and make choices for her. It's hard not to be able to hear your child's voice. Claire suffered lack of oxygen at birth, and so that resulted in cerebral palsy, which affects her motor skills and all her limbs and her body. It also affects her communication, so she cannot verbally speak. When Claire was two and a half, we went in to find ways that she could communicate. They introduced us to eye gaze, and we did some trials with some different machines, and over time, Claire learned how to say things. She learned how to introduce herself, saying, hi, I'm Claire. So the best thing that I got, Claire was three and a half, and we were playing, and she has a, a comment box, so she can say comments. So she went into comments, and she picked, I love you, and then she went to mom. So I got my first, I love you. Most people, when they see a child with severe disability, they think a broken body must mean a broken brain or a broken mind. And very often that's not the case. And so their ability to connect to the outside world is very limited. It's extremely challenging. And it prevents them from being able to express themselves, to realize their full potential. And so they need a different way to use their brains to connect to the world. BCI, or Brain Computer Interface, is a system where you wear a headset on your head. It has these little sensors that pick up your brain's electrical signals. The system then decodes those signals, and it can use those patterns to allow you to control things either on the computer or outside of the computer. So that's what uh, Claire is doing right now. She's controlling this robotic ball using her thoughts. I was very hopeful that it was a real technology. When you first hear brain waves making something work, I thought it was very futuristic. And the first time that I saw her turn on a light, I was completely blown away. BCI is creating these new opportunities for people who are trapped to connect with the real world independently in ways that matter to them. Seeing a young person move their wheelchair, make a painting, play a video game, things they could never do before and never thought they'd ever be able to do. And the look on their face when they do it and the look on their parents' face is extremely rewarding. Now that Claire's doing BCI at home, we play board games with the family. She cooks a lot in the kitchen. She has a water gun that she loves to shoot everybody with. She has a dart gun so that she can play in the dart range with her brothers. So really anything that has power or that she did with our help, she can do by herself now. Claire being able to do things independently through BCI has really changed her personality. We're learning so many new things about her. Claire is cheeky. Claire is a, a really funny girl. She loves excitement. She's hit my ceiling with, um, with her milkshakes, so she'll wait till I take the lid off and then she'll think go and she sprayed my ceiling. I never thought my eight-year-old would open a company. She started a cooking company with BCI, Claire's Kitchen Food by Thought, and she's going to have a little YouTube channel and she's going to put videos up of you know everything she makes to teach other kids that the possibilities are endless. The BCI for Kids program here is at the front of this space in the world, and we would not be there without community support from Calgary and Southern Alberta. Not long ago, brain-computer interface sounded like science fiction, and now it's just science. This is opening up a whole new world of opportunity for kids just like Claire to achieve their full potential. We're so grateful to have an amazing hospital filled with incredible bright minds and with the community behind them and the generous support, the sky truly is the limit. I think that our community recognizes the importance of technology and the importance of putting funds towards children, children like Claire, and that they can do things and can be a big part of our community. And if we give them the technology, they will thrive.